Hello YouTube, welcome back. Craig, Super Crew Nintendo here, once again with a pickups video. Yes, um, so in between um, last pickups, hopefully you'll have seen a couple of a couple of videos. I think I had the arcade club meetup. Um, I would have mentioned on my last pickups video I was going to that because that was kind of a last minute thing, a last minute venture, but yeah, brilliant. I won't harp on about that. Had a good do. Um, what else? The Black Series pickups. I've done a few of those. If you're interested, check them out. Um, yeah, but I've also been picking a lot of stuff up and been meaning to throw one out sooner rather than later. The lighting is much better today. It's a lovely Saturday morning, nice and sunny. Crazy ass weather for February. Um, yeah, I think it's like 16, 17 degrees it's going to reach today. All the all the game guys and game gals are going to be out in hot pants and vests on, the, <laughs> as they generally are when a bit of sun comes out. Um, <clears throat> right, without further ado, let's get into some pickups. So I've got a mixture of, I've got a mixture of um, like recent um, generation stuff. I say recent; it's like we, I suppose. Not not retro as yet, but then yeah, I've got some nice retro as well. So yeah, lovely lovely mixture of stuff. I will start with a Wii pickup. This was on Facebook Marketplace. Twenty pound. Um, I saw one of the items that was in this, um, and I didn't I kind of haggle. I was just I messaged her. I think I was the first to message her within like five six minutes. You got me quick on Marketplace around where I am. Otherwise the vultures are in there mega fast so yeah um i managed to get in there nice and quick 20 quid she's like yeah sweet it were only around the corner from me went and picked it up so we've got your standard wii don't know what i'm gonna do with this actually um the hinge is broken i think i'm gonna take it to cx the problem with taking these to cx is you can't just take in and just take it in and just beat it out of there you've got to stick around you know for them to test it mm. Um, I don't know if there's a game in here to be honest. There could be a game in there. I haven't even tried it. I haven't even tested it. I'm just assuming it's gonna work. Either way, CEX will pay what is it, eight or ten quid for that? All the power supply and everything. Um we've got Wii Fit. Is it even in there? I don't know, I haven't checked it, but yeah, it is. We've got uh, Wii Fit board. Um yeah, they're, I think they're 8 quid at CEX. Um, and then remotes. This is what kind of sealed the deal. Because there was one remote with the thingamajigger. What's it called? The, um, what's it called? Motion Plus thingy. Um, so yeah, um, one Wii remote with the Motion Plus adapter. Um... Two Wii remotes. Gee, oh, the lock is locked. With the Motion Plus adapter. A third one without. So, Fui Wii. Fui Wii Wii remotes. Three nunchucks. One of which was still boxed, unopened. So, that one nice. Um, and then, so what, that's 30 for the Wii remotes. I'm not keeping them. 8 for the board, 38, 10 for the Wii. I don't know, one of them remotes will class as being with the Wii, I imagine. So 38. Um, and then this was in there as well. I wasn't sure, I took a punt on this. But I mean, it's snazzy as all. It looks like it's never been used. Um, some of these, I think it's all dependent on which... Did one come for the GameCube and one came out for the Wii or something? I'm not too sure. Anyway, I thought that looked snazzy. And they, they can go for like 20 odd quid themselves. The Luigi GameCube controller. Um, so that was in there as well. So for 20 quid, we've got the power supply, the bar and everything. Uh, I don't know what to do, whether to just sell all the bits separate. Or take them to CEX. I don't know. Either way, there's 30 quid in re Wii remotes. For vouchers and the board. So that's 38. I'll get my I'll like double my money in vouchers and get to keep that, uh, which is nice. Um, put them back 
I hope you like the floral design my wife has decided to put here as well. She's also started hanging stuff up under there. She's put a rail in and started hanging clothes up. So if the clothes slowly like start to take over and cover all my games in the next coming weeks, you might not see my games. <laughs> um, right, next one. We have another Facebook Marketplace pickup. This one was 40 English pounds for a console and some games so the games it's a 3ds um console show the console first there we go nice looking this is like my fifth blue i already have one of these there's another story to go with the next pickup um so nice looking 3ds console um and then a bundle of games for 40 pounds so these i mean these can go for over 50 odd themselves all day um so it's always good to get one for like 40 quid um this i've already managed to sell the console to my friend gav from uh, retro heads shout out to gav and uh, then these were the games that came with it we've got lego city undercover that's gonna go to cx <laughs> Wreck It Ralph, I was going to keep because my girls are massive fans of Wreck It Ralph, but they played it and it's crap. And you get 12 quid at um, CEX voucher, so that's going to go. Lego Lord of the Rings, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to have a go at this myself. Never played it. Lego Chima Lavas, Lavas, someone's journey. Um, this isn't much, I think it's about 6 quid. Heart Train Your Dragon 2, looks quite apt with the new film coming out. I don't know whether the price has gone up because of that, because I think this is like a tenner now. And Ninjago Nindroids, that's gonna go. They're all gonna go, apart from the like, Lord of the Rings. I think they come to like what, maybe 30 40 quid themselves. Um, so yeah, I'll get that in voucher plus the Wii remote, so I'll have nearly 100 quid there. Um, and then this has been sold separately. Um, so that's good. Uh, I don't need that console, like I say, I've already got the blue one. Um, I mean, I've already got the blue one, but this sale came up and it was hard to turn down. This was 50 quid um, on Marketplace. Um, and I didn't have any funds. Those funds for the one I've just shown you, they were funded from some PayPal I had from selling alarm gear. But this one came up like a, a week or so early and I had, didn't have anything in my PayPal. Um, so I told, I told the woman I were interested, she's like, it's yours, come get it. So I instantly sold my blue 3DS XL. Um, I paid £50 on Marketplace for this. So I sold mine by its, oh no, with Mario Kart 7 for 55 quid. Um, it went like within five minutes as soon as I listed it. So I got the money to spend on this bundle, if that makes sense. Mine was loose um, and this one was boxed. Um, so it was a no-brainer. So I um, sold mine for 55 loose with Mario Kart, and I paid 50 for this lot you're going to see now, so it makes total sense. Box is in lovely nick. I didn't have... I've got a box one, the Mario Kart version. I didn't have, like, the standard uh, one. So, again, another blue one, as you can see. I've got two there. And this one's staying because I, I had to sell mine to fund this one. So I sold mine for 55 paid 50 for this so you've got the box console and then you've got uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time I'm probably going to move this on I, I have been playing it um, great game but I've already got it I think the original rather than the is this player's choice uh, Nintendo selects so that's going to go Mario Kart 7 obviously I sold mine so because I knew this was I was going to get it back in this bundle Batman Free Beyond Gotham, this is going to go, I'm not interested in that, I think that brings 8 or 10. Uh, Harry Potter Years 5 to 7, I'm going to keep this Lego Harry Potter, the girls have been playing it, they love Lego Harry Potter, so that's going to stay. And then last but not least, Pokemon X, which is going to go into the collection. Yay, because I don't have Pokemon X. So, 50 quid, box console, plus some games, um... Yeah, and so it was like, I got them for nothing. I got, well, I got, if you take out Mario Kart, um, I kind of got these these other games for nothing, I suppose. You'd say. 
So yeah, I can put them away now. They've been waiting to be put away for a while. Um, so that's the latest, the newest kind of gen stuff. I'm going to go on to some retro to finish off with. I've got an itch there, sorry. Right, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Pete on a retro tip for hooking me up with Splatterhouse 2 on the Mega Drive. I've been after this game for so long. This is a game me and my brother had back in the day. Fond memories of playing this. Um, and I've been after it for a while. Lovely, lovely Nick. And he gave me like a great price. I think this was £30. 30, maybe 34 posted, but this is like 40, 45 pounds on eBay. So Pete hooked me up here. He put it on like one of the gaming groups, um, and I, start, I snapped it up. I sent him a PM and said, um, "Mate, would you better hold on to it for me?" He's like, "Yep, yeah, no problem." We were going to do the exchange at Arcade Club, but I the next day, like the Saturday, I shot off early-ish, and I was in such a bad way, my head was up my ass. So we didn't do the exchange, and then he posted it afterwards. So. So yeah, made up with that Splatterhouse 2, yo! So that's going to go into the collection. Happy days! Last but not least, we have CEX pickups. For... If you watched the last pickups video, I traded that whole bundle. I think it was like a Wii and maybe some DS games. What did I get? I got like £80, £90. Pounds, so I'm going to get like the same with this bundle I've just shown you. And that will pay for like more boxed SNES games that I have here. So we're gonna go straight in with Hulk first. Uh, yeah, so made up with these guys. These came from CEX and they're in decent nick to be honest. A um, few scuffs and scrapes. They're not mint by any means, don't get me wrong. And I didn't buy the mint ones. I bought um, just boxed. Um, but yeah, still decent nick. No like big gouges or out like that across. Um, which is awesome. And this one came kind of complete. Again, I've been speaking with Garth about this because he's got this game and he's swears by how shit it is. He says it's a terrible game. Uh, cartridge is in nice nick. And I've got the manual minus the outer sleeve, which is a bit annoying. Um, there's the precautions and everything. I've never played this game, by the way, but I did want it in the collection with it, like being Marvel and such. Um, so Gav like sent because he's got this game complete. He sent me um, he sent me like a picture. He, he he copied his picture of his outer cover into the computer and sent me like a copy. So I'm gonna just print it off and just attach it to it. Can't be our sauce in the manual. I'm happy with the manual that's in there. Um, so yeah, that's Hulk for the snares. Another one to go. Stay into the collection. Uh, next is uh, Box Claymates. I used to have this back in the day. It's a fighter, um, but like with clay kind of characters. Um, we had this back in the day and we played this a hell of a lot. We had fun with this. It's not the best fighter, granted, but but we liked it. It's one of those games in it that you just have fond memories of. Like Uni Rally is a big one. Not many people have heard of Uni, Uni Rally, but we loved it back in the day. Um, but yeah, nice Nick. It wasn't classed as mint, it was just classed as box. You got to play the game with CEX. Usually you'll just get the cartridge and the box, and the box can be like absolutely shattered. Lovely cartridge, and here presto, it's got a manual. So it's complete this one. Which is a nice Nick, as you can see. So I got lucky with that one. Um, that was the best one of the three because it was complete and the box was in. Like the best Nick, I imagine. Um, Hulk being the least. Oh no, it, it came from manual, didn't it? I suppose this next one's the least, although it's a big, kind of a kind of a big hit. It can go for like uh, playmates. I don't know what that was like twenty five, thirty pound maybe. Same with Hulk. I think it was like, like either twenty or twenty five. This one was thirty five, which is a really reasonable price. So I took a punt, hoping it was going to come with a manual. It didn't, because like a complete box one of these, you're talking seventy, seventy five quid all day long. It's the mighty Parodius. I've got this on Game Boy. It's a cute em up. It's, so it's a side scrolling like shooter, but like a cutesy, cutesy one. Uh, I've not played it. I played it on the Game Boy, but I've seen the footage of it. It looks decent to be honest. And in, let me take it out of this. And in really decent nick, I'm happy with the box. The box is in really nice nick. Um, all the edges, everything's spot on to be honest. Um, every edge is every edge is good. 
and obviously the front cover and the back are nice but it just came uh, just with a manual uh, just with a cartridge but the cartridge is also equally as nice as you can see um, so this one I've got it saved on eBay under safe searches for a manual Parodius manual highly unlikely this is going to come up I can't imagine a Parodius manual um, is going to come up you never know, stranger things have happened, Turtles in Time that happened with me, I bought Turtles in Time console, uh, cartridge and box only and a manual came up for that. So you never know, it could happen. Um, I've got it saved and I keep checking daily. I think what I'm more likely to do is buy, because you see quite a few cartridges and just manuals, no box, I'll probably buy the cartridge and manual, keep the manual, check the cartridge, compare it to this one and then just flip the cartridge. Um, try to get some money back. That's the more likely outcome. But yeah, three nice SNES box games to add to the collection. Where's Hulk gone? I don't know. Hulk's up there. Parodius. Next to Parodius. There we go. Parodius and Game Boy, Parodius and SNES. And of course, Clay Fighter. Happy with that one. So that's fond memories with that one um, so yeah I've no pickups in the pipeline but I've got to take all this lot to CEX tomorrow I'll probably do that I'll have some credit and then I'll be buying some more box games other than that we'll see what comes up on the marketplace it, it's working out at the moment I'm getting like one one every other week um, well one a week I've had I've had really good start this year it's only February and I've had two 3DS XL bundles a SNES bundle not a SNES um, a Wii bundle done all right last year i think that's i had the like the gamecube bundle and like a few 3ds xls everyone seems to have this blue one i've had five of them now i would love the red one i haven't had a red one yet but i'll pay over the odds basically i want to pay like 40 pounds and it needs to come with some games so then you, you flip the console you get your 40 pounds back and then you take the games to see it you get like 40 50 quid for them that's how i want to kind of play it so yeah all is well at the moment collection is still coming on strong been playing a lot of apex legends with lee uh retro gamer addict and gav um from retro heads and chris jumps in now and then yeah we've been having proper fun on apex legends free game to download it's a shooter it's a it's a shooter like call of duty a first person shooter yeah been having a lot of fun i'm probably the shittest Followed by Lee, and then Gav is easily like the best, I'd say. He's brilliant on it. He's getting a lot of kills. I am being carried every match. Anyway, that is all from me. I've babbled on for long enough. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.